A family that prays together will hopefully pay people back together. You and Rocky. Quickly. Y'all don't know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. What's going on, you all? I know I've been dragging and digging my heels into Latasha, but girl, after watching this season finale of SWV and Escape, the Queens of R&B, I done got angry all over again. I done got, like, I have got so upset watching this, and I just had to just make a video because I've been reviewing it on Patreon, but girl, I just want to let y'all know publicly in case Latasha does see this and, and, and Tamika sees this, I am screaming at these folks bringing text message receipts, full text message screenshots to Latasha, showing her like, hey girl, Rocky has been getting a kickback uh, from the promoter. And she's just so confused to my son, what? What's that? How y'all believe that? Latasha, girl, let me tell you something. Y'all ain't making that much goddamn money. <laughs> Y'all ain't making that much money for somebody to orchestrate all of this. All of this time to just lie on your man. Y'all ain't even worth that much money, to be honest. Like, girl, has it, I don't understand how she can come up with all these scenarios of people lying on her man, but not for one second she can think and say, you know what, maybe Rocky is lying. You, baby, what I tell you, looking at Latasha and how she responded to it, she she jumped in her whole Donald Trump era. I don't know what this is. I don't know what y'all believe this. She had her own alternative facts. Like, Latasha had her own alternative facts. Like, well, this ain't, this can't be real because, like, what's going on? Why would he do that to me? Like, why would he? Then she called him. She choked up. Everything Tamika and Candy have been saying about rocking, controlling her, was showing up in that very moment. She called this man, boop, 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 called him like, cause she was like on the spot, like, hey, like, you know, I'm sitting here with the with the group and they talk about so you been getting kickback and like, what's going on? Like, I got text message. I, 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 he over here sound like Rosie from the Jets. At me, beep. Like, just, just com complete failure because he can't come up with nothing on the spot. One thing about liars, when you come to them like that, girl, they they got to process it. They gonna say, what you mean, huh, what? Like, because they were trying to formulate how they gonna get the hell out of this. Girl, in this moment, like she calling, she talking, and he talking about some, oh no, um, that ain't, that ain't, I ain't getting no kickback. If anything, like he in the confession, if I'm getting a kickback, it's business. It's not business, like nobody owe me no like money. I ain't even got no bank account. Just none of it made any sense. He he in full full beat face, whole cremation number five, sitting next to Latasha. And <sighs> Latasha, you are everything folks hate about Christians. You are the very and this is why you do deserve this gospel deal. Cause I want folks to see how fake and phony y'all asses is. You are stealing. Let me tell you something, girl. You, you stealing from your own family. You're stealing from your own family. And I, I like, yes, Rocky deserves all the lashings too. This is her family. Like, I just, I don't even know how to process this. I like, I'm trying. To, is rock like is this abuse like is this mental abuse like because now she's retracting her statement about them being in open relationships and open marriage like he don't have it that good i wish the hell i would be in a relationship or a marriage and say and say oh he ain't got it that good what does that say like that he'll be better if he was able to do stuff like that language matters so much and the fact that you think that your husband sleeping with other folks will make him better than being with you then let the relationship go y'all not fooling nobody like and, and y'all been trying to fool folks y'all drinking champagne on every episode y'all having like it's just she completely dolled up everything about latasha is fake as hell girl you are not no damn diana ross like if you was diana ross you would be out here stealing from your own damn sister and they show her how to receive, they literally put, like showing it, how we know these is real. Girl, are you serious right now? She, how do we know these is real? 
and Rocky even in the confessional just doesn't know how to answer the question. Y'all was stealing money. You were getting a kickback. There's no, I, I, I'm getting pissed because how are we sitting here allowing her to just lie? I, that's, Tasha, you deserve to be slapped by your sister. Ain't no way in the hell. In this damn recession, you stealing from me. Not just stealing money from me. Your husband is getting kickbacks from recommending a promoter. Like, what? Hello? And escape, y'all look stupid as hell. No shade, having conversations about why y'all should be headlining, why y'all should be top billing, when y'all don't have y'all shit together. Y'all, like y'all, so many shady business practices. Why the hell would we want y'all in the front where somebody in the group's husband been getting kickbacks and making money off of y'all, doing all this other stuff? Like, what's going on? Y'all need to let that girl go, to be honest. I would say, hey, you know what? Thank you for your services, real quick. Let her survive on her own. Let her survive on, but y'all don't have the power. And now I'm finna dig, now I'm finna dig into to Tiny and Candy because I got so irritated of, of, of Tiny and, and Candy keep saying, well, me and Candy don't need this money. We don't need this money. Then why the do y'all keep doing it? Why do y'all keep doing it? And people say, well, why would somebody miss a bag? Let me tell you something. Some, I don't want to be carrying so many bags that I can't tell the difference between a real bag and garbage. Some stuff I say no to. You know what? Hey, I'm going to have to bow out gracefully. This ain't. If y'all steady talking about some, y'all don't need the money, y'all dealing with all this stress and drama, then why y'all doing Because y'all like performing. I can't tell. I, I can't tell. Y'all doing everything last minute. Everything is last minute. Y'all dance moves ain't giving all of that. How y'all like performing? Y'all like making money. Candy and Tiny are capitalists. They love money, like they love money. Candy is too, like girl, they, it's been so much, even when I was talking to some folks the other day, somebody who used to be working in a manager or something at one of Candy's restaurants said that the turnover is terrible. Like the, the staffing and how the restaurant is ran, is terrible, no wonder they fell in health inspections every other week. Because the capitalists and y'all jumping out that y'all pin and pinch every little thing to, to make sure that y'all making more money and more profits from it because that's how capitalism works. That's how it works. Y'all underpay folks. Y'all work the hell of folks to make even more money. That's just how it works. Why I, I pay $5 for it, but I'm going to charge you $25 for it. Even though it's just like, girl, what? And some folks are like, well, this is how stuff works. And that's how these companies be continuously effing us over. Any person that's living in poverty, that believes in capitalism going to save them, girl, use a damn food, to be honest. But I just, I, I, these are my thoughts. And I've said this several times in several videos, especially reviewing Real Housewives of Atlanta. Candy needs to be on Real Housewives of Atlanta. She also needs escape as much as escape needs her. They need each other to survive. Candy cannot have all of these things. All of these things that she do is because of tourism, because of people seeing her on the show and people seeing her in this group on the show. People are not going to Old Lady Game because the food is phenomenal and the, and the service is amazing and the, the prices are amazing. They're going because they want to bump into Candy or any of the folks they've seen on the TV show. That's all of the things that Candy does. She uses Real Housewives of Atlanta and other stuff to showcase these things. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Remember the whole play situation fell apart. Um, you know, it was a whole bunch of drama back like, some years ago whether the, um, what was the name of the player? I can't remember it. That fell apart. So it doesn't always work. And I also don't understand, now I'm getting to my review, what I've said in my review. I don't understand the notion of continuously saying that y'all deserve top billing because y'all have more followers. I don't know how many times we got to tell y'all that followers don't equate sales. Like, look at how many big artists have big followers on Instagram, Twitter, and stuff and are not able to sell. Like, that don't mean shit. As someone who has a decent audience. Everybody who subscribed to me does not watch every video. Everybody who follows me on Instagram does not like, engage with every post. It just doesn't happen like that. 
So that doesn't mean anything. Folks are going, like, even when I watched the finale, listening to SWV, like, when, them, when they was performing week, girl, the girls was going up for it. And I don't understand it just because y'all have a bigger plot. Like, I think y'all want top billing because y'all feel like y'all make the most money out of all the people. And it's a superiority complex for y'all. I don't think it's nothing about that. I think it's just you want to be top because y'all make the most out of everybody. And they shouldn't work like this about talent or who, who's bringing in the folks. But y'all want that. And that's where I had to disagree with, with Candy and Tiny because it's not making sense. Even when they showed the episode... Uh, the time, so they got LED lights. How y'all showing us a clip of them performing on stage, paying for their own production, and y'all showing a BET clip from 2017 and call it 2018, girl? Be for real. Are y'all serious? So y'all don't have y'all stuff in order to be even talking about y'all top billing. Y'all got rockets stealing y'all damn money. Y'all don't know nothing about it. Y'all bringing receipts. Y'all, baby, to be honest, at this point, I would be taking Rocky and Tasha to court to end it all. Like, this, this show has not made... It just... It makes Tasha, Tasha, you look stupid as hell. And you would look even better had you just said, you know what, Rocky did me wrong. He had me. You have an easy way out. You can easily say he manipulated because he has mentally abused you. Has you turned on your sister. And then what pisses me off is that Tasha's whole response every time she's confronted about these things, she keeps ending the point like this is family. Family gonna get y'all over. It family be y'all all the way over. And Tasha knows that honestly, that's some very manipulative, borderline abusive shit to constantly use that as a response to why you can't be held accountable. We are talking about you and your husband. You talking about some family. Family, why would we do this? Girl, she better than me because I would took your ass to court, to be honest. Because I'm trying to have a conversation with you. I'm trying to have a conversation and talk to you about, hey, girl, and you not even understand it. There's not been no payment said, no, no acknowledgement at all. And then you'll get your ass standing in front of a damn castle like you, the mermaid, talking about a gospel album. There's no gospel about you. It's only gossip about you and your husband being thieves. How you sitting here doing a, 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 a gospel album and you and your husband striking out some of the Ten Commandments? You ain't no damn Christian. You know what? Yes, you is. You are the perfect representation of what people be talking about when why they don't like Christians when it comes to some of your stuff that y'all be doing. Yeah, I don't, Christians ain't like that. I'm not like that. But it's a lot of y'all asses it is. A lot. Because ain't no way in the hell this woman sitting here stealing from her sister and is steady talking about some God and like praise is what I She doing all this stuff, stealing from her sister, allowing her husband to do all these things. And then when they asked him, Cam, he telling her to be quiet. I can speak for myself. Like, girl, what? Huh? Jigga, what? Your man talking to you like, girl, that, that, that patriarchy. So bad, it's got you stealing from your sister. Stealing from your family. And, and the way you got a hold on your mama and able to like, girl, no man, you can tell Tamika is broken and she is hurt behind this. Because she is, she is willing to allow you back in her life, even though you have done all of the wrong. But you cannot get, get cannot, Cannot understand why she's upset. Like, you was like, but you shouldn't have got upset. How are you telling somebody not to get upset from you still? That's, that is manipulation. Not one time has she acknowledged, well, girl, yes, I did do this. Let me send you the money. It is, why you get so upset? She is not acknowledging anything. She's asking you, why are you so upset? And that's gaslighting the hell out of you because she knows why you're upset, but she can't acknowledge it because then she would have to be held responsible and have to explain why she did it. So she just acts like it doesn't exist. She acts like it doesn't exist at all. Like, girl, she's literally bird bur but She can't see. Because if she sees it, she has to acknowledge she's wrong. So she's completely like, if I don't acknowledge and I just focus on why you're upset, Tamika, which means that she's done this to you several times in the past. And to the people who are making fun of Tamika 
giving her alleged tape to Tasha to keep and Tasha says she lost it. Y'all are talking about like, this is back in like the early 90s and stuff like that. Like, I can understand why she said she didn't want to bring it back home. If I give my sibling something like that and, and my brother said, you know, hey girl, somebody came and broke in and got all my stuff, I expect him to call and tell me the day that it happened. I would never, my brother would have never did no mess like that to me. Would have never done no mess like that to me. Ever. Like, girl, I have sent videos to friends that I trust with my life who would never do anything like that to me. Hello? Hello? And people do do wrong. Sisters do do wrong. Friends do do wrong. But Tasha keeps coming back to the point that we're sisters, we shouldn't be doing this while also doing harm. Do as I say, not as I do. Sounds very familiar from y'all. Uh, but girl, this stressed me out. It just completely stressed me out. I, I, just, I, I, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't be Tamika. I, but, but she called Rocky. Uh, what she said? Or something. She said Edward. Uh, scissor hands. What she say? <laughs> I don't know what she said, but it was so funny. But girl, I, I, I had to laugh at because my blood pressure is up. It's too up. Like it's up and it's stuck because Tasha ain't no way in the hell you been doing this to me and, and, and be telling me like why am I upset? Girl, I would. I'd be in jail. That's all I say.